Hi, I'm Dan Matlis with Accendia. We're a strategic advisory firm focused on the uh, healthcare and life sciences market. And uh, we're here at Pulse 2010. We're very excited to see what um, IBM and Maximo are doing around uh, asset location capabilities uh, for the healthcare market and the capabilities that they bring to the market are very, very unique around being able to support multiple types of uh, asset location technologies uh, that enable customers to really bring the right uh, asset location and the right tag for the right asset. Uh, so uh, we're very excited and uh, we think it's a great opportunity. Moten. I'm here today at the Tivoli show and uh, presenting uh, location awareness services integrated with Maximo. We're having a great time and getting a lot of interesting uh, uh, questions about this uh, application of this new technology that we call location awareness services. It's actually not that new. We've had it in production working in a variety of industries over the last four years, mostly in heavy industry and now we're moving it into healthcare with our uh, current uh, offering that we're looking at called RTLAL or Real Time Asset Location Services for Maxima. So I'm here today uh, as the solution architect uh, for the um, uh, project and the product and just having a great time telling people the history and the story and, and, and showing them how they can get value out of IBM's extended software and products and capabilities. Kathy Coco, welcome to Pulse 2010 in Las Vegas. We've been having a fantastic uh, response to our demo that you'll be seeing shortly. Um, I wanted to introduce the solution, customized Maximo for healthcare solution. You're going to see um, how um, our new technology with real-time location tracking is making sure that the assets are located at any given time in real time, wherever they are in the hospital, and then transferred over to Maximo. Lots of very interesting use cases that um, clients in um, healthcare need, such as looking for things, being able to quickly identify for warranty or recall work, and we have a great uh, supply chain feature for reporting replenishment and part management, so things are automated, and that's how you get to smarter healthcare. The instance in this case I wanted to describe is if you have a business rule that says you need three clean infusion pumps at any time, Maximo and RTLS technology together can say when it goes down to two only located, automatic uh, work order could be generated in Maximo to bring three clean ones. Conversely, when there's five dirty assets, you want to be sure you get them to sterilization and central ops to pick them up and clean it. Maximo and RTLS are really great solution, and I uh, hope you enjoy the demo. Hi, uh, my name is Sandeep Lahiri. I'm a solution architect uh, for industrial solutions group. So what I will show here is a real-time tracking of assets and people and then here is a prop for an oximeter and it has a tag ultrasound tag from sonitor attached to it and what we have here in the screen we have divided the entire flow radio into several zones so as you can see this is an escape zone near an exit so if you see an asset an oximeter near that zone we can raise an alert and when an alert is generated you will see a red circle around that uh, around that icon and when you click on it you can see more details and you can use this button to acknowledge an alert if it's not a valid alert and so what I will do is I will walk around and you will see the asset showing up in different zones and you will see the alerts being triggered. My name is Derek Body. this is a medical asset a pulse oximeter I'm going to currently carry out into our escape zone. So what is that showing? So that shows the asset. So if I click on it, you will see the pulse oximeter showing up in the escape zone. And you can see the serial number, the name, the description, the homing department, whether it has others. And what triggered the alert? You know, it's an escape zone. This is the time when the asset entered the zone. Uh, and, you know, other attributes. So this gives a very good idea about the assets visually. At the same time, system is also logging all this alert 
uh, events as they occur. And depending on the type of events we generate, we are passing it over to Maximo to trigger transactions on the Maximo side. So as you look at the work request, you can see that we currently have the asset tag and an open work order indicating that the pulse oximeter was moved from, the clean room, from a clean location into the dirty room as part of regular patient care. Using the ECRI interface, we'll be able to populate this data so that we have a standard nomenclature for pulse oximeters and we don't have the, the variety of data entry that is possible otherwise. This way, all asset classes will be available uniformly and will comply with the accepted standard for healthcare. So now, as part of regular patient care, an asset will be used, but has to be cleaned again before it can be put back into service. Sandeep will take one of the assets and move it into the dirty room. As you can see in the map, we still have two assets in the clinic, one asset now in the dirty room, indicating that it needs to be cleaned. We can come over into Maximo at this point. And you can look at our work order at this point. It shows we have a dirty pulse oximeter. Patient tag. Uh, you can put this on a patient. And depending on where the patient is, in a certain zone, uh, we can raise alerts. So we can do selective alerts based on the type of person or asset we are tracking in a zone. Uh, so we can drill down to really, uh, you know, any level of granularity in terms of asset or person type. So what I will do here now is, uh, I will go into the hallway, right, That's a, and you will see an alert popping up here. Next I will use a physician tag and I will walk in the hallway and you will not see an alert. It basically means depending on type of a uh, person or asset you are tracking, we can raise different types of alerts. Although those assets could be in the same. So we're going to carry this patient tag into the hallway. So you will see the asset here showing up. Uh, sorry, the person showing here. And if you click on it, you can see the picture of the person with her details and what time she entered what zone uh, that caused the alert. And you can click on it and clear the alert. So, Brian, we're, yeah, we're done. So, all right. So next thing is we'll take the patient, uh, physician tag and go to the hallway again and that will not show an alert. Okay, now I'm gonna take the physician tag out into the hallway. So you will see the physician attack showing up in the hallway, but it will not result in an alert. And if you click on it, you can see the physician's uh, picture and all the associated. So part of the power of the solution is the ability to actually maintain a PAR level to say that a specific location within the, the grid has a requirement for so many of a specific asset. In this example, Sandeep is going to take three of our pulse oximeters over into the clinic.